a shortcut to adding fractions, or adding fractions without finding the lowest common denominator. Let's start with a simple example, one half plus one third. To do the shortcut method, you take the number first in the upper left hand corner, in this case the one, and multiply by the number in the lower right hand corner, the three. And that goes in the numerator of the answer, one times three is three. Now we have a plus sign, because we're doing addition, be a minus sign if it was subtraction, put that in the numerator, now the number in the lower left hand corner times the number in the upper right hand corner, two times one in the numerator is two. Now multiply the two denominators together to get the denominator for the answer. Two times three is six. Now we simply do the addition. So in the numerator we have three plus two, we write five, and the answer is over six, five sixths. Now I'm going to show you what it would look like had we found the lowest common denominator to show you that the shortcut method works. So take the same example, one half plus one third, and the lowest common denominator is six. So we'd multiply the first fraction times three over three. We'd multiply the second fraction by two over two. That makes six in the denominator for both fractions. And the first fraction, three times one is three, and three times two is six. Second fraction, two times one is two, and two times three is six. Now both fractions are over six. We can just add them up by adding across the top. Three plus two is five, and the answer is over six, five six. Let's take another example now of the shortcut method so you can see the steps one more time. Let's take seven fourths plus nine fifteenths and add them up. Upper left, times lower right. Seven times 15 is 105, write that in the numerator. Now this is addition, so we bring the plus sign over, and now it's lower left times upper right. Four times nine is 36 in the numerator. This is all over the two denominators multiplied together. Four times 15 is 60, and that goes in the denominator. Now we add up 105 and 36, and we get 141, and it's all over 60. We can simplify this by dividing 60 into 141, which goes twice, remainder of 21 over 60. And we can divide out a three, so it would be two and 7 twentieths in our answer. Now you use the shortcut method to add fractions. I'm gonna put up a link also on how to add and subtract fractions by finding the lowest common denominator. And I have a video out on how to subtract fractions using the shortcut method. So I'm going to put up a link to that as well. If you haven't already, please take a second right now and subscribe to the MathCat channel. And you can do that by clicking on the link in the corner of the screen. That way you'll know when new videos come out. And we're putting out a video or two a week right now on math topics that our viewers are interested in. If you'd like to suggest a math topic, please write that in the comment section below. Or if you have any questions or comments on this video, please write them in the comment section as well. Please like this video and thank you for watching.